Several new developments in South Suburban Dalton today. First, the state comptroller has suspended some payments to the village because it has failed to follow the law by providing financial reports. That Coming in, I mean, unfortunately, we knew it was going to be a little messy, um, but it's just something we felt important that had to be done, that should be done. So, but like I said, yep, just some accountability. Tiffany Henyard, the embattled mayor of Dalton, Illinois, is making headlines once again, and this time, it's more scandalous than ever. Rumors are swirling about a dramatic twist in the ongoing saga between Henyard and her former assistant turned whistleblower, Carmen Carlisle. Now, hold on to your seats, because this story takes us into a world of betrayal, corruption, and even an alleged attempted murder. I could Mayor Henyard really have hired gang members to silence the one person who knows all her secrets? It sounds like something out of a movie, but this is Dalton, and anything seems possible in this small Illinois town. Let's dive deep into the drama and get to the bottom of what's going on. Fox 32 has investigated, investigated Henyard's use of a police security detail, taking officers off the street and costing thousands of dollars. So who exactly is Carmen Carlisle, and why is her name suddenly on everyone's lips? Carmen Carlisle wasn't always the whistleblower we know today. In fact, she was once a close ally of Mayor Tiffany Henyard, a trusted assistant who had access to some of the mayor's most sensitive dealings. For a while, Carmen seemed to enjoy the perks of being in Henyard's inner circle, sharing in the benefits of their alleged schemes to misuse city funds for personal gain. But everything changed recently when Carmen decided to save her own skin and betray her former boss. It's a classic case of loyalty turned into self-preservation. The legal appointment, that's what the trustees I talked to are calling this. They say the news took them by surprise, and now they're talking to legal counsel to figure out their next steps. Carmen reportedly leaked damning evidence to federal investigators, implicating Mayor Henyard in a series of corrupt activities that have plunged the town of Dalton into financial chaos. But Carmen's decision to turn on Tiffany wasn't just a spur-of-the-moment betrayal. Sources close to the situation say she struck a deal with the feds, hoping to dodge serious jail time by testifying against the mayor. However, it seems Carmen's cooperation with the authorities didn't sit well with her former boss. And now, there are whispers that someone may have tried to take Carmen out of the picture literally. Here's where the plot thickens. Just days after she turned over key evidence, Carmen Carlisle was reportedly targeted in a violent attack. Witnesses claim that gunmen opened fire on her home in what appears to be a brazen assassination attempt. Carmen survived, but she's currently in critical condition, fighting for her life. Could this attack be linked to her decision to expose Henyard? Some believe it's no coincidence, especially considering Carmen's recent actions and her key role as a witness in the investigation against Henyard. There's even talk that Henyard might have hired local gang members to carry out the hit, a chilling thought that suggests just how desperate and dangerous things have become in Dalton. I think you should pay everybody. Is it a reason why you guys are not paying uh, whatever that vendor is. What was it for? Um, it was for shirts. That's what it's for. You do that. Now, let's take a step back and look at why Tiffany Henyard might be so desperate to silence Carmen Carlisle. Henyard has been facing allegations of corruption and misuse of taxpayer money for quite some time. She's accused of everything from lavish spending sprees on the town's dime, including $33,000 splurged on Amazon in a single day to questionable credit card transactions at high-end retailers like Target, Walgreens, and Wayfair. Who would make a one day, well, one day purchase of over $40,000 to Amazon. And the main thing is, what is it? But it doesn't end there. Under her leadership, Dalton's finances have gone from a $5.61 million surplus to a staggering $3.65 million deficit. Henyard's actions have not only bankrupted the town, but also made life difficult for its residents, who now demand answers and accountability. Hey guys, this is Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard, the people's mayor and people's supervisor. So what is it about Carmen's testimony that has Tiffany Henyard so rattled? For one, Carmen knows where all the bodies are buried, figuratively speaking, of course. She was there, right by Henyard's side, participating in the very crime she's now accusing her former boss of orchestrating. Carmen's inside knowledge makes her a dangerous adversary, one with the power to bring down Henyard's entire empire. Henyard's frustration is not just about the risk of losing her position, but also about the potential legal consequences. If Carmen's evidence is as solid as it appears, Henyard could be facing serious jail time. But it's not just Carmen's betrayal that has Henyard on edge. There's a long list of adversaries who have been lining up to take the mayor down. Lori Lightfoot, the former Chicago mayor, was recently hired to conduct a special investigation into Henyard's spending. Despite Henyard's attempts to block the investigation calling it an unconstitutional infringement of the powers of the office of mayor, the town board overrode her veto. And Lightfoot is moving forward with the probe. This administration is shameful. Y'all are a disgrace. We're watching the fall of this administration. Yeah, the findings so far are damning not only is Dalton's budget in shambles, but there are also unexplained expenses that suggest misuse of funds on a grand scale. What makes the situation even more unbelievable is how Henyard seems to operate with impunity. Despite the growing list of allegations against her, she continues to wield significant power in Dalton. Some say she's built a fortress of loyalty around her, using patronage and intimidation to keep her allies close and her enemies at bay. But how does she manage to keep control in a town flooded with police and federal investigators? It could be that Henyard has connections with the local criminal underworld, a rumor that's been gaining traction following the alleged attack on Carmen Carlisle. After all, if Henyard is willing to misuse taxpayer money for personal shopping sprees and luxury trips, 
what's to stop her from hiring a few thugs to do her dirty work? Deep debt, and that is the finding of an investigation of village finances and the spending habits of beleaguered Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Let's not forget, this isn't the first time Henyard has been linked to criminal elements. Back in the day, she was arrested in 2016 for criminal trespass to vehicles, and there have been other incidents suggesting she's not afraid to use force to get her way. There's even talk that she orchestrated an attack on another political rival who dared to criticize her publicly. If these rumors are true, it paints a chilling picture of a mayor who will stop at nothing to maintain her grip on power, even if it means resorting to violence. The township residents are paying for her fun. Now, let's pivot the bigger picture Hinyard's alleged corruption and theft have left Dalton in dire straits. Once a relatively prosperous town, Dalton is now mired in debt, with a population that's increasingly frustrated and disillusioned. The ongoing FBI investigation is uncovering more than just financial mismanagement. It's exposing a pattern of abuse where public funds were allegedly funneled into personal luxuries. Henyard's actions have reportedly led to unpaid bills, layoffs, and even threats of repossession of police vehicles. All the while, she maintains a lavish lifestyle, using taxpayer dollars to fund first-class flights, five-star hotel stays, and even a personal security detail that rivals that of a major celebrity. I'm sure you guys had an awesome time on the backs of taxpayers, but what do we gain from any of these trips? We gain nothing. The irony is not lost on the people of Dalton. As one frustrated resident put it at a recent town meeting, you're not accountable, you don't respect people who don't respect people who don't agree with you, you're not qualified for that seat. These are strong words, but they reflect a growing sentiment among the townsfolk that Hinyard's days in office are numbered. They're calling for her resignation, and many believe it's only a matter of time before she's removed either by the law or by the will of the people. I am about to address some things as the supervisor. Uh, there will be no comments, there will be anything, it'll just be me addressing you guys and telling you what's going on. The tension in Dalton is palpable. Residents are fed up with Henyard's antics and are demanding justice. There's talk of protests, petitions, and even a recall election. The people want their town back, and they're not going to let a so-called super mayor run roughshod over their community any longer. The sense of urgency is heightened by the ongoing investigations, which seem to uncover new allegations almost daily. The FBI, state prosecutors, and even the Illinois Attorney General are all turning their attention to Dalton, making it clear that the days of unchecked power for Henyard are rapidly coming to an end. And yet, amid all this turmoil, Henyard remains defiant. She's made it clear that she has no intention of stepping down, even as the walls close in around her. She continues to deny all accusations, calling them baseless attacks by political enemies and disgruntled former employees. But the evidence is mounting, and it's becoming increasingly difficult for Henyard to dismiss the claims against her. Especially now with Carmen Carlisle's dramatic shift from ally to whistleblower, the stakes have never been higher. One way that uh, the government always does it is to go and investigate people around her, and that's what they're doing here. The fans have their opinions too, and they're not holding back. One viewer commented, remember, the difference between a whistleblower is someone who came forward on their own, and someone making a deal with authorities to dodge justice is an informant. It's a stark reminder that Carmen isn't exactly a hero in this narrative she's saving her own skin, and her motives are far from pure. Another fan weighed in, saying, we all knew she was a whistleblower. She didn't mean her apology. She just doesn't want to end up in the same position as Tiff. This comment taps into a broader sentiment that perhaps Carmen is more opportunistic than altruistic, flipping sides when it suits her interests. But it's not just Carmen under scrutiny here, as another viewer pointed out. After years of reaping the benefits, everyone wants to now be a whistleblower. I dislike Tiffany, that said. She didn't steal all this money or create all this mess all alone. Tiffany ain't going down alone. She is bringing everyone who participated down with her. This statement captures the complexity of the situation It's not just about one corrupt mayor, but a network of people who have either supported or turned a blind oblige to her actions. The whole system in Dalton appears rotten, and as the investigations continue, it seems likely that more heads will roll. So let us know in the comments below what you think about this wild situation. Do you believe Carmen is a genuine whistleblower, or is she just trying to save herself from going down with the ship? And what about Mayor Henyard? Is her arrest just around the corner? Or will she somehow manage to dodge yet another bullet? Share your thoughts and stay tuned for more updates on this unfolding drama.